sweet, sweet succulent milk. Uh, 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 uh. Barrels of it, gallons of it. I don't care. Find me it! Mine! Mine! Pick six! Devin White! Pick six! Devin White! Pick six! Devin White! Pick fucking six! Get on the ground! Let's go! Oh my god! Did you just do that desync fucking glitch? What a pussy! Pick it! Oh, oh, oh. Throws it to the middle! Marlon! Marlon Humphrey! Oh, I jumped the step! I jumped the step! Give me that shit back! Oh. Yup, there's the hand off! Let's go! X could be open! Oh, he's not! Jalen Ramsey, let's go, baby! Let's go! are desyncing me. Second game in my playoffs. I will personally go buy every single banana in the state of fucking Michigan and deliver it to your headquarters so all of the monkeys you have making this game are well fed. Maybe hire a couple of gorillas down there. See if they can smash their fat fucking fingers a little bit better than the monkeys you got down there right now. Fun. I'll do it myself. Pizza? Do I look like I'm willing to fucking fall off? Do you think I'm willing to fall off? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. I, you know what? I have an old person's bedtime, bro. I go to bed early. I wake up early. But yesterday, that was not an option. I was looking through the comments on the NFC Championship. And despite EA cucking me, I didn't really have a choice. I mean, I guess I could have grinded back into the playoffs. But holy shit, that was going to take a long time. So I figured you guys would be cool with me just playing the NFC Championship. You know, in regular seasons. No. I got ripped apart. So you know what? If you want to say I had a Mickey Mouse NFC Championship, go ahead, baby. Go ahead and say it. But I grinded for three or four hours last night clapped cheeks seven and two and the games i lost i just barely lost i was on a tear and now we are in the playoffs so whoever i play in this next game is guaranteed to be someone in their playoffs mickey mouse championship my dick and or balls and just so you know in madden if you make the super bowl you're only guaranteed to play someone who's in their playoffs you're not guaranteed to play anyone who's in their super bowl. point is i'm playing the exact competition that i'm supposed to be playing right now there's very few things I really care about in this world, but one of the things that I care more about than anything is your guys' opinions of me. So when I see actual negativity in my comments because I did something bad, I'm not gonna sit here and be a baby back bitch. I'm gonna fix that shit. So we're here, baby. And guess who else joins the squad finally? One of my prestigious is looking crispy. Jalen Ramsey has probably the best corner card in the game. He's now a 93 overall with the Gridiron Guardian. He's a demon. So these are the stats you see the minus these are the stats on our previous jalen ramsey okay minus five speed minus three excel minus five awareness minus four catching minus five play rec it's crazy how much better this card uh ability wise same ability short route ko and acrobat acrobat has been op for me this year loving acrobat awesome prestige finally paying off dk metcalf has been playing well in real life i think he's two straight games now with a touchdown and 60 plus yards but i don't think that's enough for him to get a new card i still think at the end of the day ea loves dk metcalf there's no way they go another month without making him a new card i think if anything he'll probably get a most feared so so I still think it's a good prestige. And Darren Waller is playing like either the best or the second best tight end in football right now. It's definitely a close tie with Travis Kelsey. And sadly, George Kittle's not even in the running right now. I definitely think this is a very smart pick still. So we're gonna have to be patient on DK Metcalf. But whoa, if you think about it really now, boys, since this is the Super Bowl, my team is guaranteed to prestige. So for any of you who are new to my channel, here's how it works. This whole team we built will be completely wiped back to bronze players in the next episode, except for my prestige players, which is DK Metcalf, Darren Waller, and Jalen Ramsey. And if we win the Super Bowl, we can prestige one additional player. I still have two wheel spins in the Super Bowl so I can add new players, but I feel like it has to to be Devin White. Devin White, I swear to God, has gotten an interception in every single game. In the long run, do I think Devin White's gonna get another card? I don't know though. He's not a good long-term prestige. A great long-term prestige would be like Brian Dawkins, who very well could get a most feared card, who definitely will get an ultimate legend. Montez Sweat, Stafford is a great prestige. He's playing like MVP quarterback status right now. 
Saquon's a good prestige. His last two games have been incredible. Tyreek, obviously an incredible prestige. They're gonna give him an insanely fast, insanely good card. He's had three touchdowns. So, Devin White is the short-term best prestige. Tyreek Hill might be the best long-term prestige. And I just want to say this one more time because I really fucking love you guys. So I know it's frustrating sometimes, but it's really incredible to be a YouTuber for my career. And one of the trade-offs of the jokes I make and being myself on YouTube is it can't be monetized. And that's okay. YouTube should definitely demonetize me. I say horrible shit. I hate women. Let's go back to the 1960s when women couldn't vote. I liked that time period better. They should not have a say in decisions. And to compensate for that, I take an absurd amount of brand deals and it sets me up the rest of my life and I, I get to live in this awesome house and I get to make videos for you guys. So thank you for putting up my bullshit sometimes. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And as a bigger thank you, I'm gonna clap this dude's fucking cheeks and wheel him a Super Bowl. Two wheel spins, a challenge wheel, and the challenge wheel is big today. I'll get to that. Let's fucking get it. Get it out, baby. Get it out. Get it out. And down the fucking The playoffs wheel is spinning. This team is nasty, so... I'm really okay with the fact that I probably can't upgrade my team right now. 86, 87 team wheel. You know what? Would actually be so clutch. It's gonna be really, really difficult to pull this off. All right, this is the Galaxy Brain play. If the team we have has an 86 to 87 overall kicker, because right now I have Brandon McManus, 49ers. So George Kittle, Trent Williams, Fred Warner. Who's my other middle linebacker that's not Devin White? Let's go Fred Warner. Honest to God, a pretty solid pick. Interesting first spin here for our Super Bowl, but we can't expect that. This team's, our team's kind of cracked. As it is. We're at 86 overall. Our next spin, not an electric jackpot, but three times store packs oh boy there's 90 overall gridiron guardians which are in packs and then there's a 93 limited cameron hayward 93 limited cameron hayward would be disgusting oh my backup is deon jones holy shit fred warner fred warner may not be as fast but he's better in literally every other stat that's definitely a big pick. legends fantasy packs are obviously really good gridiron guardians packs guarantee an 82 plus elite but do those really help me right now not really let's go with one legends fantasy pack to start this out it would take a minor miracle here to get an upgrade but i i am totally down for a minor miracle in fact some of the greatest pulls i've ever had of all time have been in packs from wheel of mud like i'll do pack openings and not get shit and then i'll go Ooh, i can't that ain't, shit. that ain't bad over the years in wheel of mud i pulled some crazy shit i remember pulling the 95 overall randy moss cornerback in an ultimate freeze out of position maybe three years ago in a wheel of mud i'll go one more legends fantasy pack and then i'm gonna truly hail mary it with a gridiron guardians pack and i'm gonna look for one of those 90 overalls i, I think legend fantasy is probably smarter but team of the week interesting did i just get a limited no way i didn't know what the limited animation looked like so that shit would have been oh that's a big legend that's a big legend oh leroy selvin all right baby What's crazy is that won't even be my starting D tackle. Warren Sapp will still be the starter, but he'll be the backup. That's really solid. All right, sticking to Legend Fantasy back. Actually, after that, that was a great pack. You got to stick to it. Dalvin Cook, Marshawn Lattimore, and Odell. Holy shit! All in the first round. We need that gold animation. Core elite Justin Jefferson. No gold animation. Darn it. Although you know what would have been elite out of those packs was a kicker. That would have been sick. What I'm gonna focus on at the start of next Willema is getting a kicker. I always forget about, always forget about it, but dude, I'm really struggling to kick with Brandon McManus right now. I swear to God, if I get a jackpot, I might get 93 overall Justin Tucker, give him focus kicker, and then never think about it ever again. We can't worry about that right now. Right now, I need to worry about my Super Bowl. Is there any upgrades? Yes, Emmanuel Agba, who's a 76 overall, is coming out for Leroy Summer. That might actually take me to an 88. In fact, my team could be an 88 right now if I just took louder milk out. But you're absolutely out of your mind if you think I'm doing it. And stop, dude. I actually get a spam please pick. Hello? Hello, Miranda. Hi, no, this is Candace. Oh, okay, thank you. Candace, dick fit in your mouth? God bless you. <laughs> God bless me? Fuck you, bro. You're calling to scam an old lady who used to have this phone number, bro. Dude, I, I actually, so whoever, whoever had my phone number for me is some super old lady named Miranda. And all these scammers, what they do is they just target old people who are susceptible to this shit. And they give them to send them money. It's so sad. If you have elderly people in your life, watch over their phone calls, please. That leaves us with the challenge wheel. And after this spins, before we hop into this game, I'm gonna explain to you guys why this is so important. It's two TDs less than five. <laughs> I've never gotten this one. Okay, a player on my team needs two touchdowns with less than five total yards. Very difficult to do, can pretty much only be done by a backup. The good thing, my backup halfback right now was Austin Eckler, but now it can be Dalvin Cook because I just pulled Dalvin Cook. So my backup is now Dalvin Cook. And also we have Zonka. It's Zonka with a Z. Thank you guys for letting me know in the comments. What would be nice is if I get on the one yard line twice and we just have Zonka, fullback dive in, two touchdowns. Ah! 
one loss remaining. The biggest game of our lives. Let's get in there. Dan Marino, Ted Hendricks, and Leroy Selman. Seeing Dan Marino with pocket dead eye and protector. Oh, that scares me. That's a very expensive, a very good quarterback. I have a feeling this guy's gonna dot me up. I did, in my labbing, I did find a new play. It's called Shake Halfback Corner. The route the running back runs on this is absolutely disgusting. I would love to start with the deep bomb here. Oh, he kind of, oh, he did see it, but a little bit too late, 15 yards. That route's nasty. So he does not have inside stuff. He has reach elite. Reach elite could still be solid here, but great blocks. Let's look for Barkley again. Oh shit. Was not open at all. Great, great pass. Third and seven, huge conversion. Definitely gonna have to score every single time we touch the ball. RPL picks up bubble time, baby. Yup. Oh. Big Zone Bubble's back, baby. Big Zone Bubble's back! All right, now we flip sides. We'll hand this off to Dalvin Cook. Oh, shit. Throw that earlier. Oh, my God. No way. Oof. Oh. Come on, baby. Get up. Let's... Oh. Oh, he had the inside. Ah, that's tough. Third and 18. We're not in field goal range. Let's get field goal range here, yeah? Go, buddy. Yes. Clean. All right. 52 yard field goal. Can we hit that? What do I say about needing a kicker? Fourth and 12. I'm not in field goal range right now. We got to go for it. I don't know how this is going to go. That was maybe the most stressful throw of my life. It's the Super Bowl. Holy shit. I hated that. I hated every second of that. Oh, he does not have the angle. Darren Waller, you're so fast. Oh, how about the hell he got that? But well played. Let's go. Let's go, Stafford, get inside of the user. Let's go. Woo! I still have that challenge on the line. All right, we're going to sub out Barkley for Dalvin Cook, and we're going to run a stretch. So this is four yards for Dalvin. That means if Dalvin's going to get another touchdown, it has to be for one exact yard. Assuming he gets it here. Wow. That was the least stressful part of today. Definitely a pass. Does he go under? Oh, dude. I literally thought that might have been a fumble. Second and 10. Oh, he does go with a handoff. Oh my God. Why does he have so much room? Bop. Oh, Warren Sapp just stole my deflator enforcer. Third and three is a big, big down. Huh? Just takes off with the quarterback and gets flattened by his own lineman. He's going for it. No huddle. Fourth and five. Let's see what he goes for. Go get him. Go get him. Go! Brian Dawkins! Let's go! Oh, we couldn't return it, but that's a stop! Woo! We have to go into half with a two possession lead. Brian Dawkins! Is this man? If this isn't man, Metcalf is gonna be so open. Damn. I actually will take the sack. There is nothing open. I'm gonna go to my trusty route combination. This has worked really well for me so far this year. Look at that. It's just so good. Barkley. Get there, baby. Let's go. Dude, I could complete my challenge with Dalvin Cook right now if I get to the one somehow. Let's turn this ball. We have the luxury of being able to run it right now. Great second level blocks. Oh, Saquon. You stud. I think Darren Waller can get open here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The one! He's on the fucking one! That means Dalvin Cook, we can complete our challenge right now! I'm gonna fake switch sides, and we're just gonna run it, baby. Go Dalvin. Go Dalvin! Let's go! Challenge complete! Assuming I don't accidentally get more yards with Dalvin, he has two touchdowns and five yards. Did we just edge screamer him? Oh my god, it's another sack. 14 to zero in the Super Bowl. Come on. This could be a run. It's not. Yeah, he kind of needs to chunk me, bro. Is Y going to be open? Is that what he thinks? Oh. Yes, let's go. Warren Sapp is eating down there. If I didn't have so many good prestige options, he would be a really good option. I'm running Madden 20 defense, which is cover four, drop, and then blitz everybody. But whatever, dude. It's kind of working. He's going to throw underneath. Yup. Yup. No way. He just bounces my deflator enforcer? Well played. Third and four. We're just gonna play underneath and go. Why am I QB spying Dan Marino? Oh shit, now I'm on Warren Sap. I made a mistake. Go Warren Sap. 
Wait a second. Maybe I do need to. Maybe I do need to QB spy him. Damn, Reno, you're a fumble. You do that ever again, bro. Gonna throw A. Throw A. Let's go. This shit is over. Get out of my game. I'm just better. I'm just better. I'm just better. Devin White. Devin White is a machine. Rage quit in the Super Bowl. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, that was domination! He had two quarterbacks, so he had Cam Newton, and he had 96 Dan Marino. Let's go! Oh my god, boys, you're in for such a fucking treat, boys. You boys are in for such a treat. Things get even spicier, because not only did I complete my challenge, which is crazy that I completed that with Dalvin Cook. So I get one pack when we start the new season. Also, I get a Rage Quit Wheel spin at the start of next episode. Start of next episode, we'll get a Rage Quit Wheel, a Challenge Wheel, two wheel spins, four spins, and a brand new prestige player who has not been decided yet. Here's the thing. Here's the only thing I want to say about Devin White. As I make this decision, and in the comments, please let me know what you think. Here's the only problem with Devin White. I've used him so much. You guys have seen so much of Devin White. He literally might have more touchdowns than any offensive player I have, which is fucking crazy. But it's, you've seen so much of Devin White at this point. Like, do I really want to go Devin White again? It's definitely the smartest prestige. I want to mix stuff up for you guys, you know? Mickey Mouse ring, my dick and balls, baby. The only thing you guys didn't get was the confetti at the end of Super Bowl game. But guess what? You wouldn't have gotten the confetti anyway if that was my Super Bowl because he rage quit. So you wouldn't have gotten it no matter what. And louder, Milk Burst! Milk Burst has a ring! A 21-0 to dominant ring, too. What a fucking late game. I love you, boys. Thank you for watching. Oh, my God. I didn't even do this. I didn't even do this during the video. No! No! <laughs> no! When I got that pick six, bro, ah! I was too... I was literally too dialed in to remember. I put the fucking Will Clap... Dude, no! I put the Will Clap jersey under the Barry jersey. I said to myself, when I do a sick play, I'm gonna rip it off and I'm gonna throw Will Clap on and whatever. I didn't actually sell because I kind of remembered you get to see the meme. Banger episode. I love you boys. How fucking sick was that? I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.